Well, Chris Carter. Well, welcome to Farley Castle, the vice part of the British motocross calendar. Thousands of fans from all over Europe here today. A tremendous cavalcade of colour, lots of enthusiasm, and small wonder. We have 40 of the world's top men in action. In practice, Harkon Carlquist, the Swede, who lies second in the World Championship table. It was 2.7 seconds a lap quicker than the man who leads the championship battle, the Belgian Andre Malherbe. And quite a surprise, Lawrence Spence from Northern Ireland, 22 years old on Kawasaki. He was third fastest. Well, we had a heavy overnight rain here at Farley Castle, and Andrew Marriott a little earlier asked uh, Graham Noyce whether he thought that that overnight rain has made any difference to the circuit. Well, I think it's done it pretty good actually because it was real barn hard yesterday and <coughs> get, even getting slippery we, where it's so hard. And I think the rain overnight softened it up and it's um, it's coming pretty good now. Get the dust down and uh, it's, going, it's going well. Does that suit your style, Graham? Yeah, I like it. It's um, it's tacky on top at the moment, hard underneath. I think there might be a little bit of dust towards the second race, but um, it's digging up uh, quite a bit. We're getting uh, a few corners built up now and uh, no, it's, um, it's going well. Well, Graham Noyce says things are going well, but not too well, because he's down in 10th place in the practice leaderboard. As we said, Carlquist, the Swede, who's in 2nd place, quickest. Andre Malherbe, 2nd best. Lawrence Spence, 3rd fastest. Dave Thorpe, the 20-year-old, the Honda rider, he's 4th uh, fastest. Then the Finn, Jukka Sintonen. Neil Hudson was 6th best on the Yamaha. Then Kurt Nickel, well, Kurt, the teenage son of Dave Nickel, the man who's sitting alongside me uh, here in the country box. Uh, Kurt Nickel in 7th place. You must be very pleased with that, Dave. Yes, well pleased with that. I think Kurt uh, could be heading for a good day. Well, we shall see what's happening. As you can see, the riders coming up onto the line, 40 men. That metal gate will fall. They will be off, screaming, hurtling to the very first corner. And the corner is something like 300 yards away from the start. And that's going to be the most interesting and difficult section of the whole circuit. Dave Nicholl, the first corner in any motocross is difficult, but in a 500 motocross Grand Prix, it's uh, something else, isn't it? At this circuit at Farley Castle, it's crucial. Passing is not too easy. The tension is rising amongst the riders now, and the first corner is a 180-degree hairpin, and the first riders there obviously take the line, but we, we foresee problems further in the pack. Well, the man at the furthest away, up to the left of our picture, that's Harkin Carquist, and for sure he has got the best line going into this tight 180-degree bend. Uh, in fact, we saw one or two practice starts a little earlier, so uh, I think that was fairly conclusive that uh, the right-hand side of the start line, the, pick, uh, the man furthest away from us, has got the best line for the start, Dave. The right-hand side is definitely the quickest. We watch practice start, and I think that they can leave their breaking later into the first corner. Well, we've seen the 30-second board to the start, the uh, engines being revved up, one or two problems uh, on the star line. Somebody's got a problem with the bib and he's getting very touchy about it, pushing helpers away. This is when nerves get to fever point, don't they, Dave? They're at fever point now. Everybody's touching their goggles, touching the clutch, checking their petrol, waiting for the five-second ball, which is up now, and they're concentrating on the start gate. That metal gate will go down, and there it falls, and the 40 riders hurtle to, uh, towards the first corner, and this is where it's, it's make or break everybody i think safely through well a tremendous charge the charge of the light brigade battling away as they go and it looks to me like malherb andre malherb in the lead andre malherb the belgian the distinctive white shirt and white leathers of the belgian andre malherb the man who leads the championship battle at the moment on the uh, factory honda Malherb in the lead, the rest of the Cordy Strong pack charging through between. That's Graham Noyce in third place. Noyce, I think, is in third. Cal Calquist is second to Malherb. No, Calquist has taken the lead now. So, 
Hakan Kalkwis, the man who says that he can win the World Championship this year, the man who trails Malherb by just three points, and you can see just how rough this Farley Castle circuit is, and these men have got 40 minutes plus two laps of flat-out activity to go in this leg. They take a breather, and then they're back out in the sunshine and the bumps to have another go. But the man out in front sneaking the lead from Malherb is the Swede Harkin Karlqvist. Karlqvist in the lead at the moment and it looks as though we've lost uh, somebody out in that leading group. Maybe Malherb took a tumble. No, it's David Thorpe that's second. We must have mistaken him for Graham Noyes. So Thorpe made a good start along with Karlqvist. So Karlqvist out in front at the moment. As you can see, an enormous crowd here at Carley Castle to watch the action, and small wonder. This is the ninth round of this year's World Championship battle, just three more rounds to go, and it couldn't be close to the top. Just three points separating the Belgian Andre Malherbe and the Swede Harkin Karlquist. This is Karlquist out in front. Karlquist, the Swede, racing the factory Yamaha, a man who for 14 years... Uh, was a top ice hockey player. It started when he was eight years of age, went on until he was 22. Then he was faced with the choice of giving up ice hockey or giving up motocross. Carlfus, the man out in front, the rest of the pack streaming through. It's Carlfus, the man who was fastest in practice, and he's beginning to stretch the advantage over the rest of the pack. Well, Carlquist acknowledged to be a top man on the rough and tumble of hard, grassy circuits. And Carlquist in the lead. The crowd are delighted. In second place at the moment, a tremendous cheer from the crowd as Dave Thorpe on the Honda goes through. And in third spot at the moment, it's number 12. That's Harry Everts, the Belgian. Then down in the fourth spot is uh, Andre Malherb. So it's Carlquist in the lead. Then Dave Thorpe, the 20-year-old British boy, in second place. Then number 12, Harry Everts in third spot. And then number five, Andre Malherb in fourth position. Fifth is number 59. Uh, that's Jonathan Wright, so another British boy in the lead. So... Harkin Carlquist, the man in the lead, but Dave Thorpe, the 20-year-old British boy who is in fifth place in the World Championship table, lies in second place. Well, a great start, and that's a baller there. That's uh, Steve Beamish, the uh, Honda UK rider. Not the best place in the world to fall off, Dave. No, that's for sure. The top of the hill, the riders are liable to jump on you. And Harkin Carlquist goes there. Number eight, that's the man who leads this 500cc British Motocross Grand Prix. The man who's chasing him is number six, Dave Thorpe, and Morpel on the hill. That's uh, 25. Uh, that's uh, Manfred Schaubel and a whole bunch of men getting into problems there, but all the leaders safely through. These are the tail enders. And Brett Steele won the British boy. Well, that is bad luck indeed. Brett Steele from Chesterfield in Derbyshire, given the pre-production 1984 Honda for this particular race. Well, bad luck indeed for Brett Steele. But no problems at all for this man. This is Harkin Carlquist, number eight, 29 years of age. Harkin Carlquist is looking extremely confident to me. He's made a good start. He's striding away. And I think without mis mishaps, he could be difficult to catch. Well, with a clear track ahead of you, that's uh, when life is at, at its best for a motocross rider. Everything is perfect for Carlquist now. He can see all the lines. There's the gap between the race leader, Harkin Carlquist, and number six, Dave Thorpe. Well, Dave Thorpe must be delighted with his 20 years of age, man who leads the British Championship at the moment. There's the second place man. You can see the gap. The crowd waving, urging Dave Thorpe on. Hooters, cheers, shouts. Dave Thorpe charging through in pursuit. Well, Dave Thorpe, the man who leads the British motocross.